Congratulations, Joe. Um, Thank you. You always look happy after a win, but you did look particularly happy after that one, did it? Did it rank pretty highly in your kind of career list. Um. Yeah, I mean, I'm. Yeah, I mean, I'm really pleased. I. Uh, I think I'm just overall pleased because, kind of like my first round, and I mean, every match is difficult in its own way, but I, I know that like with everyone there's always going to be certain players or certain types of game styles that are just more difficult for each player to play against and um, I mean obviously my record shows that I find it difficult to play against Carolina and and I'm just pleased I was able to um, yeah just basically just find a way and enjoy being out there and knowing that you know nothing was for certain and I could have lost that match just as easily as I would have won it and just pleased overall at how I just um, yeah, stayed out there and played. You had so many chances to win that first set, and then fell a breakdown in the second as well. How did you kind of reset yourself? Because it felt like it was going to be one of those days at that point. One of those. <laughs> okay. Um, um, I mean, I think. Uh, I mean, you know, I, I think it's part of the game to to sometimes not be able to serve a set out. It's part of the game to go down a break and come back. It's, um, I mean, equally for her, I mean, she could have taken a lot of confidence from being able to come back from 5-3 down and going a break up in that second set. So, I mean, I think um, I didn't really get discouraged by it. Um, I, I was playing against, I think she's number three in the world right now. I'm playing against the number three player in the world. I mean, nothing's going to be given to me or, or be easy. So being 5-3 up is, is by no means a guarantee that I'm going to, it's my right to win that set. And I just had to keep working. And I felt I did that in, in that second set as well, even though going a breakdown. And um, I didn't see it as a be all end all. Joe, can you um, sort of enlighten us as to why you've developed this very formidable record in deciding sets, um, which has developed over this year. Do you think there's any underlying reason for it, or is it is a situation you just have become confident with, or? Um, because it's pretty no, good. No, I mean, I, I think, I think generally three set records or, or being successful in three sets comes with playing a lot of matches as well. I think you'll see a lot of players be able to do that as well, who who have won a lot of matches. I think I've won quite a lot of matches this year as well. I mean, I don't necessarily think it's anything specific. I mean, I trust myself to be out there on court for as long as needed to to play the games for as long as I need to. So I don't feel any, any time pressure to be off the court um, in a certain amount of time. So maybe I feel um, comfortable being out there for three sets. But no, I don't think there's anything specific behind it. Do, do you mean by, sorry, do you mean you don't feel time pressure to be off the court. You mean you uh, trust that you're going to be one of the fitter people out there? Um, not necessarily comparing myself to my opponent. I just feel that I, whatever the game asks of me, I, I'll, I'm prepared to, to be out there and play <coughs> for as long as I need to, and I will either do well or I won't, but I, I don't feel um, any pressure to be out there for a short amount of time. I'm happy to stay out there for a long amount of time. And I think a lot of matches now, the way they are, there's a lot of a lot of very tough, long battles that a lot of players are having. So I think it's, yeah, I just feel prepared to be out there if I need to. Um, you seem like one of those players who've worked very hard off the court. And coming in here, you talk a lot about the process and how been trying to make things as simple as possible when things maybe weren't working as the way you wanted them in the matches, was it hard to kind of keep that positive, sort of simplest, simple mindset um, in your approach to matches? Um, I mean, I think uh, definitely doing, working off the court or, or just generally putting in the time to get better, I think is going to give you the best chance of getting better in matches and getting better on court. So that's obviously trusting the process part. I mean, it's never always just going to go your way. So whenever you are out, on, out are out on court, it's inevitable that there's going to be frustration or there's going to be things that are just are difficult. And um, I think part of just now being able to accept and tolerate comes with time as well, and also perspective. And I feel I think I've got just a good perspective right now. Just to follow up 
follow up on that. So you feel maybe clearer on the court now than maybe you did say a year ago, 18 months ago, or is it kind of? Um, I think definitely to a certain extent, I think the more work you put into a certain aspect of your game, the more um, fluid it becomes or the more second nature it becomes. And I definitely think um, there's got to be an element of comfort that comes out in terms of and trust in what you're doing out there. And so, yeah, probably, yeah. And I've got a question about your coach, Dimitri. Can you tell me what did he bring to you and what kind of person he, he is? Um, I think probably the biggest thing that he's brought to me is space. <laughs> um, he's given me space to just be exactly who I am and who I want to be on court and he's encouraged my self development in, in my own way. I think he's he's been very he's very nurturing in that way. He I think he has a, a great understanding of 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 it I mean it's relevant to me but giving a, a player space to, to grow and um yeah, so I think he's that's probably enabled us to work well together and, and, and for me to I'm also really grateful for actually for him to to be able to um, create an environment along with me and Dan and, and everybody else who's in the team of I'm really excited to come to work every day. I look forward to learning every day and and that's a really privileged position to be in, I think, in any job. So um, I, I feel very, very grateful for that. And. I mean, he's he's great. I mean, he's quite he's quite um, reserved and 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 quiet. But uh, yeah, no, I think yeah, he's a he's a great person. Well, beating the third seed now, you play either the fifth or the tenth seed. We don't know which one yet. So I'd like to ask you about each one as an individual to preview. If you were to face Fidelina, what do you think the keys to that match would be? <sighs> I mean, if there was only one key, I mean that would be great. <laughs> I mean. Um, Against a, I mean, against Alina as well. I, I, um, she's a tough player for me to play, and I've had a lot of difficulty against her as well. So, um, equally so, I think she, um, I mean, she's incredibly tenacious, and she's an, a, a tremendous competitor. So, um, uh, I would be going out there, anticipating it to be a tough match, anticipating for her to be there from the very beginning to the very end, and just really looking to, to compete well against her on the day. And against Madison, what's the biggest challenge for you? Um, I mean, I mean, she's an incredible player. Uh, she is, uh, she's got a massive game. I mean, she, she's she got tremendous power behind her ball and, and her ability to, to really just play big and similar to Carolina in a way and, and, and some other players. I mean, there would be times where I wouldn't have much to say in the match, and and that's something that you have to learn to tolerate and 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 just accept. Um, so I think, um, yeah, having good acceptance against that, and just really looking for any opportunity that I would get to to implement my way of playing. <coughs> Joe, what if anything does it mean to you to become the first British woman to reach the quarterfinals here since Joe Jury in 1983? And how confident are you that you can at least go on now to the, the semi-final as, as, as she did? Um, I mean, yeah, I mean, I'm really pleased. I mean, I think for me, more on a personal level, uh, to to be able to have made it to the quarters for my third slam in a row, I think that's a really, really big achievement for the, me. So I'm really pleased with that. And um, obviously, I'm... I'm looking forward to keep going, you know, further and further. Um, but I, um, you know how I am, I take one match at a time, so I don't really um, look forward too much more. And I think it'll be important for me to enjoy this victory today and, and then prepare for what comes next tomorrow. Yeah, we'll take a couple more. Joe, yeah, what's, what's been the biggest difference this year to give you that consistency in the slams? Um, I don't think specifically anything. I mean, I think what I've said before, I think scheduling is is always um, something that everyone looks to to do the best they can and do you get it right or you don't or in hindsight everything looks better. So um, I think um, nothing specific. Um, I think I think just um, being prepared to 
to play every single match to to be here for as long as possible I think including three sets I think that helps me stay in a frame of mind to to be prepared to to play but I mean just as easily I could have lost in the first round I was playing against a great player so um, I don't think there's a magic formula to to stay in uh, stay until the end of slams. <laughs> I don't know if you noticed, but when you missed that smash, you remember the smash? Uh, Third set. Oh, uh, yeah, I think so. Yeah. Uh, Tom Hiddleston sort of put his head in his hands like that in the <laughs> box. Did you notice that? No, no, I didn't see him. Because I just thought sometimes if a player was to see that, it would annoy them, annoy them a bit. Oh, no, 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 it wouldn't annoy me. <laughs> um, I think... It, no, no. I mean, that stuff doesn't annoy me. I think uh, when people come to support you and they're living every moment of the match, I think it's normal for, for them to, to um, express emotion in, in, uh, in, and in every possible way. It's just for me and, and in support of me. So. <laughs> That's I, I was just going to say, he's proved like a good, good luck charm for you. I mean, I did win two matches when he wasn't here, but, you know, <laughs> cheers. Um, yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, you know, it's been great to have him and his, and yeah, no, it's, it's been good to have just people supporting me in the box and um, who are rooting for me, so that's been nice.